Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really actually excited for this video. I'm actually gonna be really embarrassed. But I'm going to be reacting to my old Instagram posts. And don't even try to go and make fun of me and stalk me because I've archived like half of these. But we're just gonna get right into it because it's embarrassing and I just don't even wanna, ugh. So first, I wanna go to my archived posts because I think those will be the funniest. I've archived a lot because I used to have a private account for only friends that can follow. So I used to just be like, I'm an influencer and I need to post for my 200 followers that don't care. So we're just gonna start with the Oh boy. This is so bad. So bad. Please just look at my mascara. Like, it's clumpier than shiz. I used to cake that on. I used to cake it on as much as I could. I wanted everyone to know how much mascara I would wear. Like, look at that. I remember going after school and being like, I just need to post every day for all my followers. I need to post every day so everyone just knows who I am. And so I'd be like, Emmy, come and take pictures of me for absolutely no reason. Also, I bought this shirt at Rue 21 for probably like $3. And my shoulders are, why are my shoulders shrugged? I'm just like, I rate this one a 1 out of 10. I don't not like this one. And my nails, why were, they had no, what did I just do? This was a cheer retreat thing, like it was our cheer end of the year party. Why did I wear a bandito made me do it shirt? You're supposed to look cute at a goodbye party, not wear some random shirt you found in your closet. Just look at the caption and just be embarrassed for me. I thought I was so cute in this picture. I actually feel like I was cute back then, but now that I look at it, like, <sighs> look how aesthetic, guys. I mean, it would be cute if I was like doing an actual photo shoot, but no, I set up my mom's studio light and made Emmy come take pictures of me. But this was also after we went to Hawaii. When I went to Hawaii, I was like, I'm gonna take so many cute pictures and just be, like the aesthetic Pinterest girl, right? So she goes to her porch to take pictures. Also, the low waist shorts have got to go. The American Dreamer shirt and the amount I must. Oh, look at Emmy in the back. She is always dragged into taking random pictures of me and she hated it. <laughs> now she's like, Amy, will you take pictures of me? I also am squinting as much as I can because I'm being blinded. I loved my hair that day for some reason. I think it was so cute. I actually really liked this one. I thought I, the messy bun and the nails and the lighting in my sister's room was perfect. The shirt, I'm not sure about that one, but I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 just because I loved it when I was that age. Now I'm like, no. I loved this picture so much. I This was right before cheer practice, I remember. And I remember like having to hurry because I needed to post before I went to cheer practice. And this was also my mom's shirt and there was like a hole in the back so I had to like cover it. Also, I love that necklace. I have no idea where it went. The caption is just everything too. I like this one. I hated this post. I just, I needed something to post since it was Christmas. So I just like posed with a freaking peace sign on my forehead. I love this picture of me and Brock though. I look good in that one. The caption, I got that off Pinterest, if you couldn't tell. I actually love this post. I like this one a lot, except a lot of people were confused by my caption, but it was a wildflower festival. That's why I spelled petal with a T, like a flower petal. But people are like, hey, yeah, that's not how you spell petal. I'm like, <sighs> I stole the caption from the song, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. But the only reason I posted it was just so that the guy that I met at EFY would like the post. I ended up commenting on it, but like, then one of his old exes like replied to it, so I just got really embarrassed and took it down. I also am standing like I have broken ankles, so that's good too. With the Adidas socks, wow. Hey guys, so, oh, I feel embarrassed. Me and my family went to watch the Mayweather and Logan Paul fight, so I had to end the video. Well, not end it, I just had to pause the video for a quick sec. Also, look, I made this necklace during the fight. It's so cute. Literally, it was so freaking hard putting all the beads on. But I'm gonna finish making this video for you guys. So, my screen time turned on, so. <laughs> I just screenshotted some really fast. So, we're gonna start with this one. I actually really, really like this picture. I had to, like, hurry and take them both because we were having, like, a family gathering or some sort. And I was wearing such a freaking cute outfit. I got the shirt from American E and the pants probably from the same place and so I was so excited to take this picture and I actually liked how it turned out even though I'm like standing awkwardly I think I look good so 10 out of 10. I really liked the outfit and my hair was really looking good that day but again the mascara was okay just drop your phone. This is probably one of my favorite pictures. It was the first picture I posted when I had a public account and me and my friend Addie were like taking pictures. I think this was like we really had to take 
one picture and then I just posted it. Like, that's the best when you just take one picture and it's like perfect. And my waterproof mascara was going hard. It was really hanging on for every dear life because I was so embarrassed to go to school without any mascara on. I literally just had to put waterproof mascara on, guys. I hope you guys like this video of me making fun of myself and going back on my old self. I've definitely grown a lot and I've gotten better at taking Instagram pictures. I'll probably redo this video in like five more years if I'm still doing YouTube. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.